So with the knowledge that you have, and you're bestowing all of this on Bella, she, she's going to be unstoppable. Yeah, no, she is no unstoppable. Way. I mean, I mean, obviously there's nothing 100 percent in life, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, death and taxes, right? But uh, uh, I would put Bella being an undefeated champion is probably number three. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you, till she's in the UFC, do you think? Um, if she wanted to be there right now, she could have been already back in July. Uh, but we held off because she was 17 at the time. And uh, she had two pro fights. Uh, and I, I just want to take our time. And, and right now, she probably would jump into it now. But, uh, but I want her, she wants to follow a college career. She's a national champion in wrestling. Uh, she's an All-American, you know, four or five times over. Uh, you know, multiple times, you know, four or five. She could have been a five-time state champion because she won in eighth grade, but COVID took a one of the years away from everybody. And so um, uh, she wants to really pursue wrestling in the Olympics one year. Oh, wow. So she's, she's taking on freestyle now because uh, I didn't have her – actually, girls in college wrestling, you know, you know, they only wrestle freestyle. So they only wrestle folk style, which the guys in college can so do. not Greco-Roman. Right. Right. Uh, uh, so – they don't do folk style in college like they do on the high school level for the girls. Oh. Now, guys, once we go to college, U.S. colleges still do folk style. If you're, you know, a U.S. national, you know, if you're an NCAA, NCAA national champion, it's in folk style. Uh, and then you can, for freestyle, is international competition, which you can do also, obviously. And then that's what we compete in the Olympics and international Pan Ams, all that. So I don't have Bella and I don't have my sons train in freestyle. I feel that folk style is much more effective for a base in MMA because there's the element of control. In freestyle, they have takedowns, but, uh, but they do so much parterre and different movements on the ground that have no carryover, you know, to, uh, to fighting. I, it isn't like I can sit there and go, like, if you know how to, like, work the referee position, you know, in wrestling, I can use that in the fight. I'm like, okay, you, you stand-ups yeah. and Grambies and all that, you know, sit-outs, those are all things we're going to use when we fight. And controlling a person who's trying to get up to their feet from their knees is an essential skill in MMA. You know, like, hey, you take someone down, they, they go to their hands and knees, they're coming up, you better know how to break them down and flatten them back out again. That's freestyle. I mean, excuse me, that's folk-style wrestling. Freestyle, they don't care about that. They, pair, they, you know, they belly down, they go to the parterre position, and, the, and so I didn't push it. So she's only been wrestling freestyle now for a little over a year. She's competed only in th she competed at the World Team Trials. I think she got fourth the first year out, and I think the sixth this last year, uh, but both times she lost, she loses in the parterre position. No one takes her down, you know. And so she, or I think she got taken down once the whole tournament. And uh, everybody else she takes down. But then the parterre position, both times she lost, she just got rolled, you know, back exposure with her ankles, you know, ankle laces. And, and the one I'd never seen before because I don't really follow freestyle. Once they hit the ground, I could care less too because it just, again, it has no, no fight value to me. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it'd be the same as like, hey, how much do you know about Baron Bolo and Jiu-Jitsu? I'm like, zero. I couldn't even show you how to begin to show you. Like, I watched it one time, and it was like, my brain goes, boop, I can't use it. It's useless, you know? She's such an interesting case of, is it nature or nurture? Like Both. It, yeah? Is Both. she this good because her last name is Mir? Well, I mean, that genetically, you know, she's uh, you know, a freak. Uh, so, you know, she's stronger and faster than everybody that she, she faces. Uh, she did the, she trains at the PI, and she did the fitness test. Uh, and she is the most explosive, strongest female under contract in the UFC. There's not a woman in the UFC who's stronger than her wow. at, at so 17 she's, years she's of age. She's under contract? Well, no. Dana oh, lets her oh, train there at the PI. You know, and Forrest so, set it up. So she does all her rehab there and training. And she trains at the PI. So, we, I mean, we have that relationship. So she's able to go there and train us. So when they tested her, yeah, she, the only thing she lost out on to and she's still there, but she wasn't the number one. You know, obviously, in, uh, was in conditioning. There's other girls that are pretty well conditioned. So she was competitive there, but nowhere near. I mean, when it came to the, the power output, she's the number one. So, I mean, it just tells you, I mean, here she's on my training program and, and, you know, 17 years of age, jumps in and does the PI. Or, she might have already turned 18 at the moment. Maybe she was already 18. But yeah. she was, you know, uh, you know if, if she was in a contract with UFC, she was the strongest fighter. Man. Physically, most explosive. They do this bar test where they push a bar, how fast they can push it with weighted, you know, it's basically a landmine type with the, uh, with the straight bar. And, yeah, she's the most explosive. So no girl hits harder, can pick someone up, lift more weight, run yeah. with it. With, with the career that you've had and the pedigree that you have, how much pressure do you think there is on her to try to live up to that? Uh, I wish that was the only pressure that was, I was worried about. It's pressure she puts on herself that bugs me. Mm. I have to sometimes really rein her in and check out, be like, hey, you know, like, it was, I think, uh, this is last year she got second at nationals. And, uh, you know, 
there's things that I don't understand about female athletes that sometimes, you know, because I mean, I'm not a woman. So, I mean, there's certain aspects of uh, that happen monthly that, you know what I mean, that, that <laughs> I need to learn more about. And so I am nutrition wise and trying to figure that out. So uh, we didn't understand that. Uh, and so both times that she didn't compete successfully was during that time. And we didn't realize why she was so drained. We thought it was a bad weight cut, you know, like, well, like, I don't know why. Like we were basically having to like, you know, drag her out of the, 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 the bedroom, you know, to get her off the, off the bed. It's like, well, what's going on with you right now? And later on, we found out that was the case. It's like, oh, well, you know, our iron is just plummeted. We've done blood work, and now we understand how to fix it. But uh, <clears throat> she ended up getting second place at nationals. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and it was distraught. Like, you know, it was just the end of the world. You know, my wife was like, I'm like, hey, guys, let's chill for a sec. You know what I mean? Like, I know, you know, like, you know, first place is great. But, I mean, like, you just got second best wrestler in the country this year. You know what I mean, like, you yeah. lost to one girl. Like, I mean, like, I mean, let's just – you know what I mean? And you're not a full-time collegiate high. You know what I mean? This isn't your – I mean, I guarantee you, everybody else you wrestle, that's all they do. Mm-hmm. My daughter wrestles, then she does kickboxing and striking with me, and then we do jiu-jitsu. You know, she's doing, you know, no-gi grappling classes at night at Drysdale and, you know, and then training. And it's like she has four or five different disciplines that she's focusing on. I'm like, so, I mean, like, like this is the big picture is for you to be very good at this to help us out for MMA. You know, it's not for us. Let's, I don't want us to lose sight and go, okay, let's – not train, you know, our submissions anymore. Let's not train our stand-up so we can be the best at wrestling. If that's what we want to do, we can do it. But at the same time, we can't be frustrated that, you know, if you're a part-time wrestler, getting second in the nation and, and having a first place also under your belt, that's not the worst thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so sometimes, like, that pressure, yeah. she really, it was like, I'm like, hey, you know, like, let's look at this. You know what I mean? I, I love that you're driven, but, like, that's awesome. But, I mean, you know, you spend 40% of your day being a wrestler. And you're out here in the finals, you know what I mean, and winning them, you know what I mean? Like, all these other girls are spending 100% of their day, you know what I mean? That'd be like me right now with the amount of kickboxing she does, entering into a K-1 tournament, and she's in the finals. It's like, yeah. wow, you only really spend about 20% of your time doing this, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like 40, 40, 20, you know, 40% wrestling, 40% submissions, and 20% striking, you know, like, you know. And she's only 18. Yeah. Like, she's going to be unstoppable in her 20s. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, so, and and she has a lot of things also too. We we'll talk about the nurture versus nature. I, I don't make any bones about my own weaknesses that that sometimes come with being a talented athlete. And you know, look, uh, I land on my feet no matter what. My my whole life, I've been that guy. You know, I can show up almost anywhere and I'll fake it till I make it. You know, my intellect and whatnot, my ability to stay calm has helped me out. But it also is a curse because then it's like, hey man, don't you aren't you supposed to prepare for this? Nah. I got this. You know what I mean? Like, it drives my wife nuts. But the problem is, is that, that uh, I'm still successful that way, you know? And so I told my daughter, it's like, hey, like, if I could change something about me, that's what I would change. Let's not be this person. So all my deficits and my, uh, my fallacies and my shortcomings, I make sure she sees them. And I don't try to sugarcoat it. Like, no, no, just because I'm successful doesn't mean this is still not a problem. It's like yeah. a guy who's lean who eats like, eh, you know, let's not fool it. You're genetically gifted. You're not good at dieting you you do okay at it but the rest is genetics yeah. so let's let's acknowledge that so that people don't sit there and go well i'll just do what you do i'm like eh, it might not work that way for you you know what i mean so she uh she she is extremely disciplined in fact the one thing that one of the things i'm probably most proud of her of is that in uh, you know her whole scholastic career so far uh you know uh, you know from kindergarten to graduating high school this year right now um she never missed an assignment never had not one missing assignment and, you know, I mean, she's near a straight-A student. I think she graduated like a 3.86 or something like that, right? And, but, uh, uh, but what's more impressive than not being a straight-A student is, is the not, not missing an assignment. I'm like, yeah. that's impressive. That's, what's, that's, gonna, that's my weakness that, yeah. that now you've now overcome is you, don't, you, you, you sign all, you know, you cross all the other T's and dot the I's. Yeah. That attention to detail, and, that just, and that's just discipline. It's not hard. It's just, are you going to do this? monotonous, boring thing day in and day out and not make that mistake of not doing it. And, uh, you know, I'm not that guy. You know, I don't, you know, make the bed first thing in the morning, you know, unless someone's coming over, you know, like, I don't see the, you know, but I see the, I, I see that and I point out to her. So her discipline is, 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 is on a different level 